So everybody, what's my name? Sam. Right. And what am I what am I doing here today? Listen. Reading stories. Guess what? I have all brand new stories again. Let yes. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and maybe if we have time, six. Okay. And guess what? They are all brand new. Nobody has heard these stories before, okay? Especially no one on TV. So here we go. We're going to start with nothing can frighten a bear. What do you think? Can anything frighten a bear? Uh, yes. I don't think so either, but you just never know. All right, everybody have their listening ears. Let's reach up in the sky. Yes. Put those listening ears on. Mine are, Mine are red. And here we go. Ready? Everybody have them on? Yeah. Nothing can frighten a bear. I bet something can frighten it. I don't know what though. Here we go. Ready? Deep, deep in the woods, with the moon shining bright, some bears snuggled up in their beds, went for the night. There was Mommy Bear, Daddy Bear, Grace, and then Ben. And Baby Bear, too, who lay dreaming. But then, as Baby Bear jiggled and wiggled some more, he suddenly woke up when he heard a loud roar. Help, Baby cried. There's a monster about. He's coming to get me. I just heard him shout. Don't worry, said Mommy. Bear stroking his head. There aren't any monsters. Let's go back to bed. But Baby Bear whimpered. How can you be sure? I can't sleep till I know what made that big roar. What do you think it was? You think so? Let's see. In that case, said Daddy Bear, grabbing a light, why don't we go looking for monsters tonight? Think that's a good idea? No. You'll see, there's nothing so scary out there. And anyway, nothing, oh nothing, can frighten a bear. So, five bears went marching out through the tall trees when mom heard a noise and cried, everyone freeze. So all the bears stopped. Could a monster be near? But out of the darkness trotted a deer. You see, daddy laughed. There's no monster out there. And anyway, nothing can frighten a bear. The little bear said, we're as brave as can be. But no one saw Mama get caught in a tree. How did you know? So now four bears went striding out into the night. When Ben saw a splash, and squealed, there, on the right. They stopped where they stood on a slippery log. Then out of the water, there hopped a big frog. You see, Daddy laughed, there's no monster out there. And anyway, nothing can frighten a Keep smiling, said Daddy. There's no need to scream, but no one saw Ben slip and fall in the stream. So, three bears squelched on down a thick, muddy track when Grace said, What's that? Something brushed past my back. Perhaps it's a monster, said Baby. Oh, no! But out of the darkness, 
there swooped a black crow. You see, Daddy laughed, you see? There's no monster out there. And anyway, nothing can frighten a bear. Nothing. They splashed and they splashed as they tramped through the muck. But nobody noticed that Grace had got stuck. Where is she stuck? In the mud. Now, two bears were sleepily wandering on. They still hadn't noticed the others had gone. The lamp gave a flicker and started to fade. I want to go home, Baby said. I'm afraid. All right, then, said Daddy. Let's get you to bed. There aren't any monsters, just as I said. I told you that nothing can frighten a bear. But then he looked round and saw nobody there. They're all gone. But where have the others gone, Daddy Bear cried. I thought they were here walking right by our side. Perhaps they decided to go home to bed. Or maybe a monster got them instead. What do you think? Then out of the dark shadow appeared. Oh no, Daddy cried. This is worse than I feared. Quick, take my paw, baby, and hide behind me. There isn't just one monster here. There are three. Uh-oh. Just look. They're so fierce. How their scary eyes stare. Now that's a sight that can frighten a bear. Oh, baby, he shouted, we must run away. But just then, the scariest monster roared. Hey! Who do you think it is? Poor Daddy Bear froze and cried. Baby, stay calm. But Baby G Bear giggled and said, that is my mom. You silly, said Mommy Bear. Surely you'll see. We may look a mess, but it's Ben, Grace, and me. It's you, Daddy cried. Oh, how silly I feel. I thought for a second that monsters were real. So, five bears went home feeling ready for bed. We'll all stick together this time, Daddy said. Deep, deep in the woods, with the moon shining bright, the bears snuggled up in their beds for the night. Then suddenly, everyone looked all around, for something had just made a strange, growly sound. I'm sure there's a monster now, Baby Bear cried. No, Baby, it's you, all the others reply. It wasn't a monster that scared you before. You woke yourself up with your own roary yeah. snore. So what happened? He was snoring. He was snoring and he thought it was a monster and all the time it was him. And you know what he says? I'm not taking a bath. Let's see why. Ready? Too wet, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. We could use Mrs. Sheep's special shampoo, Peep said. Look at his, that's what it would look like if he was going to wash his hair. Too bubbly, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. He doesn't look happy, does he? I could wash you with the hose instead, said Peep. What do you think? Too splashy, said Not taking a bath. How about a quick dip in dog's water bowl, Peep asked. Do you think that would be fun? 
No? Too slobbery, said Egg. I'm not taking a bath. We could walk over the hill to the river. What do you think? That might do it. Too fishy, said Egg, and too fast. I'm not taking a bath. Okay, I guess you're not taking a bath today, Peep said. Then he's watching everybody go. See you later, Egg. Look how clean Egg is. Where are you going, Egg asked. I'm going to take a bath by myself, said Peep. What are all those toys, Egg asked. Just some bath toys, said Peep. Bye. Hey, Peep, 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 wait for me. And now what is he doing? Taking a bath. He didn't know it was going to be so much fun, did he? Egg. You are all so nice and clean, Peep said. Would you like a towel? No thanks, said Egg. I don't need a towel because I'm not getting out. <gasps> now he doesn't want to get out. First he didn't want to get in and then he didn't want to get out. Is that silly? Okay. I like it too. I thought, I thought you liked that one. Thumbs up? Okay. Story number three. Okay. Thumbs in the middle? I thought we liked it. Thumbs up. No, I liked thumbs in the middle. Oh, you did? Okay. All right. This one is going to be... I think you're going to think this one is 10 thumbs up. Ready? It's called No Hugs for Who? Who do you think? Porcupine. Okay, you ready? Let, let's see why Porcupine isn't going to get any hugs. Poor Porcupine couldn't be hugged. He's all pinchy, right? The forest animals, who loved hugging each other, twittered behind Porcupine's back. He's too prickly, said Fawn. He's so grumpy, said Rabbit. Moose, Fox, Beaver, and Owl all agreed. Who could ever hug Porcupine, exclaimed Otter. We could never hug him. I don't need a hug from any of you. Porcupine shouted from behind the echoing forest. I don't need a hug. But he wanted one. It was no hugs that made Porcupine grumpy. He craved a cuddle. He needed a nuzzle. And he searched for a snuggle. Dusk crept over the forest. All the animals said their good nights, giving each other nice, warm bedtime hugs before they returned to their burrows, nests, and logs. All but Porcupine. He sulked off to his corner of the forest, and poor Porcupine settled right down on his rock. Giving his quills a quick shake, he tried to wrap his little arms around his body. Ouch, he cried. They hurt. Even Porcupine couldn't hug Porcupine. He felt extra grumpy, and Porcupine picked up one of his quills from the mossy ground. Perhaps I can do something about these, he thought. He tried shaking again even harder this time but only a few of the quills fell off. 
He tried rubbing his back against the tree to blunt the spikes, but the, his quills were sharper than ever. Maybe I can cover myself in moss. Maybe that would work. What do you think? Yeah. No. no. Porcupine gathered the softest moss he could find. He lumbered over to the brook and he peered at his reflection. You look silly, said a voice. Porcupine turned and he spotted Armadillo. He dropped the moss to the ground. That's much better, said Armadillo. It's not much better, said Porcupine, grumpier than ever. I won't ever get a hug now, not ever. Cheer up, Porcupine, said Armadillo. Would you like a kiss instead? A kiss? What's a kiss? May I have one, please, asked Porcupine. No. Mwah! Armadillo peeked a, a quick kiss on Porcupine's little nose. There, Armadillo said, that was a kiss. Porcupine felt happy and warm and not the least bit grumpy. He wanted to show all the forest animals this kiss, but he was afraid that they would not give him the chance. Don't worry, said Armadillo. We can show them together. Okay, mumbled Porcupine. And they made their way back to the forest. There they go. Where did you go, Porcupine? The animals cried. We've missed you. I was sad, Porcupine muttered, because you said I couldn't be hugged. It's not that we don't want to hug you, said Fawn. We're just afraid of your prickly quills. Armadillo said, well, in that case, Porcupine could give you a kiss if you want, because Porcupine kisses are not prickly. A kiss, said Rabbit. He was twitching his nose. May I have one, please, said Otter, bounding up to Porcupine. Sure, said Porcupine. Mwah! That wasn't prickly at all, said Otter. In fact, it was really, really nice. And Porcupine smiled. I want to kiss too, whispered Fawn. So do I, said Rabbit. All the forest animals asked Porcupine if they could also have a kiss. So he very carefully planted pecks kissed cheeks, mwah, and nudged noses. Dawn broke over the forest and all the animals said their good mornings, giving each other quick, sweet kisses after rising from their burrows, nests, and logs. All but poor Owl. And guess what? At the end, who's getting a mwah? Owl. Owl, too. And that's the end. What did you think? Yeah. Yeah. I knew you were going to say thumbs up to that one. I loved that story. I don't want to see any tilted thumbs. I'm not going to see any tilted thumbs. Tell me, say thumbs up. All right, thumbs up. That's what I say, too. Okay. All right. Are you ready for story number 400? I didn't tell 400 stories today, did I? No way. All right. Number four. Number four. We've read three already. This might be the last story. No. <laughs> okay. The name of this story is called Monster and Mouse Go. Do you know where? Camping. Huh? They're going camping. 
Monster and Mouse are going camping together. Let's see what could happen. I don't know. Are you ready? Monster was having a snack when Mouse burst in the front door. Let's go camping, she said. Let's go camping. What's camping, Monster asked. Camping is great, Mouse said. You walk in the woods, you sleep in a tent, and you tell spooky stories. Let's go. And get some marshmallows. Yep. And get some marshmallows. It sounds scary, said Monster. The stories are supposed to be scary, said Mouse. Camping sounds scary, said Monster. Piffles, said Mouse. It will be fun. I'm a good camper. I'll take care of you. Maybe next year, said Monster. Or maybe even the year after that. There will be food, promised Mouse. Lots of yummy food. Monster decided, I might like camping after all. I think you want some food. Maybe. Mouse brought all the supplies to Monster's house. I made a list so we won't forget anything, she said. You read the list and I'll pack. Two sleeping bags, said Monster. Check, said Mouse. One tent, said Monster. Check, said Mouse. One lamp, said Monster. Check, said Mouse. We have everything. Let's go. They have everything they need, and soon they were in the woods. I hear a stream, said Mouse. So she went ahead to find it. While she was gone, Monster had a snack. Look what she's eating. What's she eating? A lamp. That monster. After they rested by the stream, they walked some more. I think this is the right trail, said Mouse, but she went ahead to make sure. And while she was gone, Monster had another snack. What is it this time? That silly monster. After Mouse came back, they walked some more. Let's camp on that hill, Mouse said, and she went ahead to find a good spot. While she was gone, Monster had another snack. Come on, Monster, I found the perfect place for us to camp. Monster joined Mouse on the hilltop. Let's set up the tent, said Mouse. Uh-oh, said Monster. What do you think what happened to the tent? What's wrong, asked Mouse. I'm sorry, Mouse. I think I ate the tent. Uh, oh. oh well, don't worry, said Mouse. We'll sleep under the stars. Our sleeping bags will keep us cozy. Mouse, said Monster. I, 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 I ate the sleeping bags too. All right, said Mouse. We can sleep on the grass. Hand me the lamp so I can find our food. Uh, uh, uh. Mouse. You ate the lamp? Guess Mouse. I'm very sorry. Mouse was quiet. Finally, she said, well, at least we can have dinner. You didn't eat the food, did you? Mouse. I did not eat the food, Monster said proudly. Mouse looked in the box. She looked in the backpack. Monster, she said, yes, Mouse? I forgot the food. That's all right, Mouse, Monster said. Again, they sat on the ground. It was dark, it was cold, and they were so very hungry. Mouse was especially hungry because she had not eaten, eaten any tents or sleeping bags or lamps, so she was really hungry. Shall we tell spooky stories, asked Monster. I don't think so, said Mouse. Then they saw a glow in the distance. Look, said Mouse, 
Maybe we can go there and get warm. Maybe they have some extra food, Monster said. The campers were toasting marshmallows while a man told a spooky story. But then said the man, a terrifying beast knocked on the door. Excuse me, said Monster politely. Look at everybody's face. You think they're frightened? <laughs> ah! They all ran away. <laughs> Monster and Mouse stood alone at the campsite. Look, said Mouse. Sleeping bags. And food, said Monster. And tents, said Mouse. And food, said Monster. I wonder why. I wonder why those people left so quickly. No idea, said Mouse. Mouse, Monster said as he made his fifth s'more. Yes, Monster, I like camping very, very much. I'm glad, Monster, said Mouse. I hoped that you would like it. And that's the end. What do you think? I think that's all we have time for today. Okay, do you want to sing a quick song? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Pearly shells? Yeah, okay, ready? Yeah. Pearly shells, pearly shells from the ocean from the ocean shining in the sun shining in the sun covering the shore covering the shore when i see them when i see them my heart tells me that i love you more than all those little pearly shells Pearly shells. Yay! Good job today, you guys. Say, so, could you say bye to everybody in the audience? Say goodbye, guys. Bye, Erica. Thank you.